We're now going to run through a complete shoulder examination. Um, so again, just introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Franz Hussain. Do you mind if I examine you? That's fine. Okay, so we're looking uh, from the front. Uh, we're looking to see if she has any prominence over the sternocurricular joint, which she doesn't. Uh, looking over the clavicles, and she seems to have quite prominent acromiocurricular joints. Um, she has no waist into her deltoid muscle uh, or to her biceps, uh, and she has no asymmetry. Can I get you to turn to the side? She has normal curvatures to the cervical spine. Um, doesn't appear to be any deltoid wasting. Can I get to face the wall at the back? Um, there doesn't appear to be any wasting to supraspinatus, uh, infraspinatus, and again, there's no asymmetry to a scapula. I'm going to start off with the cervical spine examination. Um, just tell me if there's any tenderness there. Is that tender at all? No. Okay, can I get you to look up towards the ceiling, down at the floor, across your right shoulder, across your left shoulder, make your ear touch your right shoulder, make it touch your left shoulder. Now, does that bring you on any discomfort down your shoulders or any pins and needles? Okay. We're now going to palpate around your shoulder. Just tell me if I hit any tender spots, please. I can't see your face because um, so, I'm, I'm looking and feeling from the back, so do tell me if I'm causing any discomfort. I'm going to start off feeling for any tenderness over the medial border of the scapula. Was that tender at all? No. Uh, any tenderness over the spine of the scapula? No. Around the acromion, you to turn around and face me, um, over the acromion here and over the acromioclavicular joint. Um, can you feel me touching you there? Yeah. Does that feel the same down here? Yeah. It doesn't seem to be any numbness in the area of the axillary nerve distribution. Can I get your face forward? Um, it's feeling along the scapula. Is that tender at all? No. Uh, on either side, is there any tenderness over the, of the sternoclavicular joint no. there? Or on this side? No. Okay. Um, going on to move, can I get you to face the wall again? And lift your arms up straight above you, um, right up towards the ceiling and back down again. Okay. Just do that once again, just slowly for me and she appears to have normal scapular thoracic movement, and as she comes back down again, appears normal and well controlled. Um, bring your arms up towards the side and elevating them up. Make your hands together and back down again. So she has equal movements on both sides with full elevation and abduction. Um, get you to turn around and face the camera for me. Just tuck your elbows in, turn your arms out. Okay, just relax again. And uh, external rotation is round to around 60 degrees on the, uh, on the right and around 60 degrees on the left. Can I get you to turn and face the wall again? Um, and bring your arm up as high as you can up your back. Um, on the uh, left side, uh, she's bringing your arm up to uh, the counting down from the cervical vertebra. Around the T10, T11 level. And on the right side, she has less uh, internal rotation and she's bringing up to about the T12 uh, uh, L1 junction. Okay, just turn around again. Um, so we've done the, uh, the movements of the shoulder. We're going to go on to uh, special tests for impingement. Um, starting off with uh, Nears test. Can I get you to just turn your thumb down towards the floor and I'm elevating it in line of the scapula and just telling me, tell me if this causes you any discomfort. Does that feel okay? Yeah. And bring it right the way up. Is that painful at all? No. No. Okay. I'm now going to demonstrate Hawkins time sign. Let's bring it up and internally rotate that way. Does that cause you any discomfort? No. No. Okay. Going on to um, scarf test for any uh, irritation around the acromioclavicular joint. Does that cause any di discomfort? No. no. And uh, I'd do the same on the other side for comparison. Um, I'm now going to assess the uh, rotator cuff muscles. So starting off with supraspinatus, just turn your thumbs down towards the floor and it's the initial 30 degrees of elevation in line with the scapula. Just push up towards the ceiling. Okay. Tuck your elbows in, push my hands apart. Get your arm behind your back, and push up against my hand. So she doesn't appear to have any weakness in the rotator cuff muscles, just asses assessing the biceps tendon, pull that towards you. You can see there's no, there's a normal shape to her biceps, there's no Popeye sign. If the biceps has ruptured, um, then it retracts down. Let's pull that towards you. That's fine. And that completes the uh, shoulder examination.